Hey there. Let's have a little tea time with tea, a little conversation. This evening, our focus is primarily on veterans, our lack of honor, our lack of care. So we're going to have a little tea time with tea. We're going to discuss veterans. We're going to discuss some things that have gone through the House that the Senate needs to get their ass in gear and pass. Get out there to those who serve our nation. I spoke earlier about that HR bill um, that would automatically, up on discharge, members of the military, would automatically be registered with the VA. You don't have to do it after you get discharged and everything. Everything is done up on your discharge from military service. Now, Liz Cheney voted against it. For it to get over to the Senate would be a fabulous thing. And I really hope that they bring it back up, bring it to the floor, and do a public debate. I want to see them on C-SPAN. I want you to come up with the reason why you are not honoring our veterans, why you are not doing the right thing by our veterans. That's what the hell I want to know. Because we kind of go, oh, well, yeah, Veterans Day. You know, we support the troops. Memorial Day, which is actually another day. We support the troops. But all the, that other time, we're just bullshitting. Seriously. Did you guys know? I don't know. If you got anybody that lives in the Atlanta, Georgia area, do you know there's actually a program that if a veteran, while they were in service, did, um, say, construction, um, electronics, handling video equipment, handling anything that involved the arts within the military, there are actually companies that give them first choice to work on movie movie sets. Yeah, they get first choice to be able to work on movie sets. Do, do you have people who did lighting? Do you have people that handle cameras? Do you have people who did constructions of stage and background stuff? I didn't know this till today. Literally, the only way I knew about, knew that this company actually, well, this program actually existed. Tyler Perry. I didn't realize that his sound studio, his movie studio, is based on the old Fort McPherson military base. He bought it. He changed it over. And that's where all his sound stages, where he films his Medea movies and his all of his other little movies that he does. And his TV shows. So he decided he was going to join a group of different companies. They come under the heading of Vet to set. So not just California and New York also do use the same program. So he decided since there's no one in the South who's offering military, people who left the military the chance to use their skills, well, he joined them. Come to us. Come to me. Any opening I've got, Vets get the top choice. Blew my mind. There is RSA Films, um, MBL Studios, Vetlanta. Again, a vet supporting program. Vetlanta in Atlanta primarily tries to get carpenters, electricians, people who in the military picked up these skills. Fine, let's just turn you around to a profitable job. The band Five Fingers Death Punch, they do it too? Oh, well, that's great. 
I didn't realize there were actual businesses that are already pushing this. You never hear about it on the news. I mean, sometimes you got to dig shit out yourself to know that when people pop out there, primarily our politicians, left and right, when they're running for office, oh, they'll, 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 they'll hype up the military. I support the military. See, I wear my little flag pin. But once the elections are done, they don't give a crap. They don't care about supporting the military. And that's really amazing. How's it going, ma'am? Hello, sir. Um, there's a lot of companies that actually try to help out the vets as best as they can. Um, the reason why I brought up the band Five Finger Death Punches is because if you look at it like a few of their songs, they mm-hmm. I'm gonna take this one, uh, Gone Away. That was a they did a song called Gone Away. That was um they did that one for the side of the military, like the ones who lost their friends and family members and stuff like that who served and show that kind of side to what it all looks like. Mm-hmm. Five Finger Death Punch also did a song called um, Wrong Side of Heaven. And on that song, they posted up uh, how many veterans end up homeless, uh, how many uh, soldiers lose their families, uh, how many soldiers, uh, like when I say families, I mean divorce rates and stuff like that. Um, yeah. And how many, and at the end of the video, and it it makes me cry every time. It says, in the time that you were watching this, a veteran somewhere took their own life. And they they showed that kind of stuff. And they have, they, they'll they take, like, if you walk up and you uh show one of the members, hey, look, uh-huh. I'm former military, I need a job. They'll go, yeah. they'll grab that piece of paper that says, yep, like, they're DD-214, and they'll take and they'll go, okay, come on. And they'll put them on as a roadie. Like helping out with sound systems and stuff like that. And if I'm not mistaken, too, the lead drummer decided uh-huh. to quit the band, decided to quit the band and join the police force. Okay. All right. I like want, they, I gotta, go ahead. Yeah, they are a wonderful band. I, I went to go see them live and it they are awesome, like 110% awesome. But like going on to the government, it's like if bands and other places can do this, why can't the government? And just like what you were saying too, with the um during the election time, that's when they bring up all this wonderful stuff. But as soon as they get elected, all that goes out the window. Yeah. And it's like they prove it time and time again. And it's not just with the veterans, it's with Black Lives Matter, it's with all these other organizations and stuff like that. Like, look at Pelosi. What has she done for Black Lives Matter? She's kneeled down on the ground with her fist up in the air for that photo shoot. But yet she was putting stuff inside the bill for COVID to send money to freaking Pakistan for gender studies. But what did she do? What did she do for that? What did she do for that? She could have, you were able to kneel, you were able to do, put something in the bill to help out this. And it's not like this cause has only been around for a year. Caleb, Caleb, let me put this out there, because this is also what I wanted to bring up in the live. Right now, from the House, these are the bills that they're supposed to be sending over to the Senate for them to vote on. Uh, One of them requires Veterans Affairs immediately establish a zero suicide initiative program for the purpose of improving safety and suicide care for current veterans and previous veterans. Problem is, They got to vote on it, and I haven't heard a single news outlet say, hey, this is pending, along with that other bill that I brought up about you immediately get registered um, with any VA. We can, you know, that's hope being held up. Um, This right here is a fabulous program, but they got to vote on it. Ain't nobody done it yet. Hmm. Senate, get on your ass, get moving. A uh, bill to amend Title 38, United States Code, State Code, uh, that would increase and extend dependency money to both the veteran and their family and paid um, c- 
compensation to surviving spouses and children. I was like, I'm, I'm counting about 10 bills that directly tied to veterans to make their lives better. And I haven't heard a single news station say, hey, you know they're considering this and uh, you might want to call them and make them actually vote on this shit. Nobody. I had to go yeah. digging for this shit. Yep. And it's like I, I a lot of it's to blame with the new with the media and stuff like that because it's like they push what they want to push out there, but they don't push the most important things out there. And it's kind of it, it kind of exactly. brings back that whole exactly. thing of what do you have going through your mind? Like what are you trying to do? And you see who's, as a, who's this? Ernest said the guy read his notes. Ernest said 35 year vet, and I never heard of any of this. Yep. I believe it. We gotta actually raise our voice about this. I highly do believe it. And it's like this is a perfect re like this is what I've been saying for a, a long time now. It's not that I it's not that I I don't trust the government. Like I don't. Like in one way, shape, or form. Because number let one, me, they try to push so me. many Yes, ma'am. Caleb, I always say this. We are the government. If we don't speak up, we don't make phone calls, we don't show up at those cute little rallies that they like to hold with uncomfortable yeah. questions, they slide right by. Yep. We the so get our children in order. Mm-hmm. And that's one thing that and look, I'm gonna I know this is very controversial. I know that I should not say this. But however, due to the circumstances that I see that can be involved in all this, that January mm -hmm. 6th thing shouldn't have happened. But at the same point, I'm kind of happy that it did because it showed them that, yes, you are freaking human. But that's the only thing I like about it. However, that was a very bad situation. The, it was like somebody at a basketball game said, hey, we're going to do this. And you had some people, you saw people. <laughs> When I was at work watching it um, on C-SPAN, when it happened, you saw people walk up to those steps and go, oh, hell no, 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 uh-uh. Yeah, I disagree. Yeah, I want to speak. No, I'm not doing that. Those are yeah. the people who need to be in the front lines, not the idiots, but the people who had yeah. enough common sense to go, this is not how you make change. Yes, but I like I said, the only reason why I agree with it was because it showed them that, yes, you are still human, that if people actually got tired of your shit, you mm -hmm. will be touched if you wanted to be touched. Yep. You yep. might want to start taking that step back and stop worrying about what goes into your pocket and start worrying about, you know, the people that you're supposed to be representing. There you go. Exactly. That's the only reason. That's the only reason why I like that. Other than that, it was not, no, yeah, it, it could have been done a different way. Exactly. I, I I really would like to talk to those people who, when they got there and saw what was going on, had the common sense to go, we're not going to get anything done by doing this, and turned around and just walked away. Those are the people that I want at board meetings, at these rallies for people running for office, I want them to ask them hard ass questions. Yes. Where and are they? I, I want them back. <laughs> yep. And it that goes along the lines of, you know, what all was actually like I, I really want to know what all led up to it, too. Cause like there was videos of officers like telling people, come on through. You know, they had that going on. They had all kinds of stuff. Like what was going on? That we you can know see what behind scenes. You know what? I'm going to tell you what my uncle, who was in the Marines, told me. If, if there's one thing that anybody in the military knows, they know how to do a tactical withdrawal. When you yep. see you are overwhelmed, you, you basically yep. just step back and go, I don't have enough bullets to take everybody down, so I have got to withdraw. I saw officers backing off because they did a head count, no way in the hell can I hold this. Oh, no, no, Step no, back. no, I'm not. 
I'm talking about that NOPD. No, not the NOPD. Um, sorry, I live in New Orleans. Um, the uh, that one officer that lived that was like right out there, right where the barricades were, and he was uh -huh. telling people, "Come on!" Like he was waving his hand, telling people, "Come on, go up to the front of the building." That's the mm -hmm. that's that shows me, and it's always it's always like that. It's always the videos that you know you got the guy panning the camera around that you see the fight, but you don't know what had led up to the fight. Like you see right in the beginning. Right. Like, now, I want to know what happened. I'm with you on that. Now, you know your partners, the people that you serve with, are at the door. You open the gate for them to get crushed between the yep. door, to get beat with poles. What the hell were you thinking? I understand if you're just going to do this. But going by what you said, did he seriously not give a darn about his fellow officers? Like, what was the biggest, like, what was the whole idea around that? And the reason why I'm even asking that was because FBI involvement and stuff like that, the FBI is, uh, have already proven to me that <laughs> they can't be trusted in numerous oh. of cases. Oh, wait the a FBI... minute. You mean, you mean the same FBI that was investigating Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and uh, Lewis Blackwater Garvey. and all of them. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Those people, I can't trust the FBI because of everything that I've seen with them. They are, I wouldn't even trust them to do a freaking investigation on a robbery after I got caught the guy and have him laying on the ground in my backyard with the stolen object in his hand still. I wouldn't trust him with that, with that one, let alone anything else. There you go. Hey, because I mean, I took a look at the videos of the Blackwater incident that the FBI did all the stuff on <laughs> destruction of evidence and everything. It was like, wow, and we trust you. Gotcha. How do gotcha. You, how can we trust you? Like, I think but the my, FBI but my, life, needs to be down. my life is about veterans, I'm yes. focused on veterans and what they should get what they deserve to get, and the way the right and the left plays these little games and trots them out as, you know, just a little for show. We're all for the military. No, if you're all for the military, these 10 bills should pass with no problem. Yep. They I mean, the through. 10 bills have no, have no, like, background thing that can actually harm the U.S. Right. From what I'm seeing. But it's yet, strictly here you to are doing this. The military. Yeah, the only th the only thing the only thing I can see that would harm anything would be the money that there isn't something in it for them to put money into their pockets. Because exactly. my my biggest thing is, you know, you're supposed to be a paid servant to be my voice. However, you're sitting here living in these big mansions and stuff like this while you have the soldiers fucking dying for your bullshit. Yep. yep. Like, uh, like I, mean, I said, that one bill kind of caught my attention. So I had to go digging and find out what other bills are pending out there that, okay, they've d they're done in the House. Hey, Freddie, they're supposed to be sent over to the Senate. These all yep. are veteran bills to benefit veterans. Yep. What, what, why is our news not covering this shit? Because they rather just cover, uh, you know, shootings and oh, the Ukraine incident and everything. Uh, the Ukraine Russia stuff, which actually needs to be covered. That one, I uh, will say, needs to be covered. Yeah, um, kind, of, kind of keep an eye on them. All the other, like all the other BS things that they want to push out there, but they don't want to cover stuff like that because you know it doesn't go against. Because it goes against what they want to push. The fact that they want to establish a zero suicide initiative program to help veterans with suicide issues and, and mental health issues. And it's, it's like, wait a minute. Why is this not going through like that? You know, over 20, what? Over 20 veterans commit suicide a day. Mm -hmm. This is needed. That's it's been needed. One one uh, a veteran commits suicide uh one hour uh 
a one veteran commits suicide every two hours. That's that's they, just they, one they, is too much. You know, they put they they risk their lives to save all of us to make sure that we didn't have to go see what they have seen. Yeah. And what do we do for them? Absolutely freaking nothing. Besides, thank you for your service. And then we then they just walk right out the door. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just walk like, right by. I just yep. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got I mean, too many members of my family in the military that when so I, I heard that one bill. And when I said, well, let me see what else is out there that should be bene bene benefiting veterans. Why isn't it benefiting them? Why is it just sitting there? Pending? Exactly like what just Ernest just said right there. Man, I, man, my utmost respect to you, man. Like, mm. man, my, uh, like, you know what's even speaking of that? My grandpa was in Vietnam and he the only things i've ever known about him in vietnam was that they had to throw grenades into the uh into the water to catch fish because they weren't getting resupplied and that he was in the military times for uh flicking off the like he he used to uh lift up his glasses like with his middle finger at the camera and he was in the uh military times for that like <laughs> My typical grandpa thing, but I mean, he never did talk about Vietnam. He told me, do not ask me about Vietnam because I'm not going to tell you. Same with Damn. my uncle who was in the Air Force. He was shot down and we got the, uh, what is it? The uh, Distinguished Flying Cross. He will not talk an int, like a, a little, not even saying what he did. He will not yep. talk about the uh, Vietnam. Yep. My brother was in, um, in, um, Desert Storm, and there are metals that are in a cabinet, and the only reason they're there is because his wife puts them out. But he yeah. had five years before he married her, we didn't even know he had metals. <laughs> they got married, she found them, and she said, babe, why don't you put this blue cross out? I'm I'm sorry, um, purple heart out. Why don't you put this? He's like, you can if you want to, but nah. We don't know what he got it, it for. Oh, uh, the Purple Heart is that he was uh, injured. Oh, okay. But I was like, wait a minute. Why are these metals here? She was like, yeah. I'll put them out, but he won't talk to me. Because some of them usually mean something like, um, so like the Medal of Honor. Like I've met a few Medal of Honor, uh, uh, the Valor Medal of Honor uh, recipients. Stuff mm -hmm. like that. Every last one of them I've ever talked to, I was like, thank you for what you've done, man. Like, you are a better man than me. And he goes, no, I'm not. You're smarter than me because I did something stupid to earn this. I'm like, bro, you did something to save a lot of your uh, fellow guys' lives. And he goes, yeah, but it was still stupid. <laughs> I was like, you're crazy. But it's like, those are the people <laughs> that, like, these are the people that are, and it, 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 you know what? I'll say this because you know what? It needs to be said. Okay, so when I went, so my whole family was in the military, going back to the Revolutionary War all the way up to the current war. Like my nephew, I mean, uh, my nephew's in the army right now. My cousin's mm -hmm. in the army, you know. And uh, being around military folk and uh, me even joining up the military at one point, you know. One thing mm -hmm. I will always say, man, ain't nothing like it because, you know, we don't have that bs of oh you're black don't get around me no that person is my brother and i'll die for him that's how it is in the military and you know what a lot of that needs to be brought into the civilian world like because man mm -hmm. everybody needs that in their lives and this is the type of people that we're just letting go because of whatever reason and it's kind of sad that the government don't even think much on them to even go you know what they can probably help change this time around. Maybe we should keep them around to see what the hell we're doing. Because I mean, like, look yep. at me and you. Like I said, you have a, you have people in the military that's your fam, like that's family to you. So do uh -huh. I. And I want to join the military, ma'am. I'm going to tell you right now. Like, and you know, you heard this, and you probably said it a few times yourself. It takes a village to raise a child. 
Mm-hmm. Man, my auntie, she's African American. My mom, my aunt, they're all white and everything else. But I guarantee you, my auntie will beat my ass just as bad as my mom and my other aunt will. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Like, yep. <laughs> so I, I mean, I, I love my taught me how to be the way I am. Yep. I loved my nephew coming home from the army. He would bring like three, four guys. And my mom would be like, oh, well, we guess we're going to make a big pot of stew. We're going to throw some ribs on the grill. How many of y'all? Will, we'll find somewhere for all of you to sleep. This was just family he was bringing home. Didn't matter mm-hmm. the color. It yep. was family he was bringing home. Yep. I mean, it's, like, it's like imagine if we actually saved all those people's lives that took their lives or as homeless or anything like that. And really just sat back and just watched them how they are with their brothers. Right. Like brothers in arms. And really just take that and take that look and just go, you know what? This These two people really do give a damn enough for each other to take this dude, grab him by the collar, throw him out of the way, and jump on a grenade. Why can't mm-hmm. I do that to my next door neighbor? Why can't I do that to somebody else? That is, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna throw this out there. And I told myself I was gonna keep it short today, but I keep looking at. We allowed them to pass a 780 trillion dollar military budget when the military brass only asked for 24 trillion. Where's the rest of that damn money? That much money could buy little homes for every one of our vets laying in the streets. There's um, plenty of open land in this country where you could set I up can, little houses. I can kind of guess where that money went to. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you, uh, I don't know if you knew this or not. You know who Deb Grew is, right? Deb Grew. Remind me. I may have heard of him. Uh, so SEAL Team 6 disbanded back in 1997 or 1996 and they came out as a uh, dev group development oh. group oh, so seal team six is not there no more it is now called development group or dev group uh-huh. they spent more money with just that little group just that little group alone spent more money than the u.s marine corps oh yes what are y'all doing with that damn money that you could be doing um, for homeless veterans. Getting nice ass helicopters and stuff like that. <laughs> that we but, don't need. In other words, keeping the military industrial complex well funded. Uh, that's just like one little speculation of it. Probably a lot of it is going <laughs> for some other things too that I'm not fully aware of. Uh-huh. I understand. But Oh no! Some car just pulled up out in front of my house, and I don't know who the hell it is. Oh, it's my aunt. Speaking <laughs> of my aunts, yeah. but it was nice talking to you. I'm gonna have to jump on the phone. Oh, I have to jump off and All right. greet her. All right, you take care. Have a great evening. All right, you too, ma'am. Bye bye. All right, bye bye. Well, I gotta wrap this up, people. It was going to be a short one. I just want to talk about veterans. I just want, guys, go look up what veteran-focused bills are currently pending. Look into them because, damn it, there are some bills that we need to get on the phone and say, why the fuck aren't you doing this? That Just that one bill to set up a plan to help veterans and prevent veteran suicide. That's a no-brainer, guys. Should happen no no time. It should go on the floor. They talk about it for a few minutes. Passed. Let's immediately support our veterans. Doesn't need weeks. It's a no-brainer. Anyway, y'all have a good evening. Be well. Just a little tea time with tea. <laughs> Have a great evening, guys. We are out. Night beats.